Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's put into practice what we've learned over the last few videos. Here we have four more equations that we need to solve and there's some of each type. Starting with the first one, this is straightforward. Here we don't have to do step number one. There's no fractions, parentheses, decimals. We simply start with step two. We move all the terms with the variable to the left side of the equation and all the numbers to the right side, which means the 2x will move to the left and the 4 will move to the right. Again, when we cross the equal sign, we change the sign. This then becomes 7x minus 2x equals a minus 1 minus 4. Combining like terms, step number 3, 7x minus 2x is 5x equals minus 1 minus 4, which is minus 5. Then we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of the variable, and we get x equals minus 1, which is the solution to our first equation. On the second example, we have fractions. The first thing we want to do is get rid of the fractions. Notice we can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is the number 3. Multiply the left side by 3 and multiply the right side by 3. Again, when we distribute the 3 on both terms inside the parentheses, we end up with 15x minus the 3's cancel out, I end up with a 2 equals 3 times 4, again we distribute both terms inside the parentheses, that will give us 12x, and the 3's cancel out here, plus 4. Now we do step number 3, move all the terms with the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side. Again, remember, when you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. 15x minus 12x is equal to 4 plus 2. Notice the minus 2 becomes a plus 2, the 12x becomes a minus 12x. Combining like terms, 3x is equal to 6, and dividing both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient, the number in front of x, we get x equals 2. On our third example, notice we have decimals. We want to get rid of the decimals. We have one decimal place here, one decimal place there, which means we need to move. We need to multiply both sides of the equation by the number 10 to get rid of a single decimal place. The left side becomes 10 times 8x, which is 80x, and 10 times minus 7.1 is minus 71. Equals on the right side, 10 times 4x is 40x, and 10 times 3.9 is 39. Now we move all the terms with the variable to the left side, all the other numbers to the right side. 80x minus 40x, remember the signs change from a minus 40x when we cross the equal sign becomes a, a from the plus 40x when we cross the equal sign we get a minus 40x and here we have 39 plus 71 the negative 71 becomes a positive 71. Now we combine like terms 80x minus 40x is 40x and 39 plus 71 is let's see here that would be 110 then I divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient Divide both sides by 40, we get x is equal to 110 over 40. Now we can simplify that by dividing both top and bottom by 10, so this becomes 11 divided by 4. And finally, our last example, notice we have parentheses. We need to get rid of those parentheses first. We have a negative in front of these parentheses, which means when we distribute the negative, think of it as a negative 1, we change the signs inside. This becomes a minus x plus 7 plus 4x minus 8 equals 4. All the terms that have an x in them already are on the left side of the equation, but we, de we do need to move the numbers, the negative 8 and the plus 7, to the right side of the equation. On the left side, we end up with a negative x plus 4x is equal to, and on the right side, the 4 is already there, the plus 7 becomes a negative 7, and the negative 8 becomes a plus 8. Now we can combine like terms. Minus x plus 4x is a 3x is equal to, that's 12 minus 7, which is 5. And finally, we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of x, and x equals 5 divided by 3. And that's how we solve equations. We now saw some of each type. And that's a nice little overview of how to do this correctly according to the steps put in front of us. And that's how it's done.